Hello, and thank you for tuning in. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. So I hope everyone is doing well today. Thank you for tuning in. Just drop a line, tell me where you're from. I'm just going to give a couple of seconds here. So what I had told you on Friday morning was I had something different or special to show you or to talk about, and I'm going to. Um, first, I just want to tell everyone that I am thinking about everyone, all of our friends out there. Please stay healthy, take care of yourself, and take care of your family. I know it's a little scary time right now, but just uh, know that we're all in the same boat and no matter where you are in the, you know, in the world, we're all having a rough time worrying about everything. Uh, enough said. Just take care of yourself and take care of your family. Okay. So I'm just going to wait a couple seconds, and then we're going to get started. So while we're waiting, grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. Okay. So... I wrote this down so I would remember to tell you everything. So as you know, Donna Gray from Australia and myself, we do online classes once a month. They have There's three levels to choose from. Uh, the third level being um, just the video. Just what we need. Yes, an hour of, oh, your daughter's in isolation. My, my prayers to everyone. Yes, an hour away from the news and everything else. That's what we need. Hi, Denise. Again, hi, Vicki. So to get started, uh, Donna and I do monthly classes. We have three levels, and level one, level two, and you've heard me talk about them. Um, I always show you the flyers. It's on my Facebook page. It's on my blog. And the level three is, of course, just the video. In those kits that we send, you get six cards to do. So you buy the bundle level or you buy the level level one level two and you get the card kits that go with them and you get six cards three designs two of each that would be for my my class and donna's class the videos are are purchasable <laughs> purchasable you can buy the videos anywhere in the united states the classes are only for australia and usa because that's where we are so I know, I just wanted to run that through so that you understand how the classes work because that's a little bit of what we're doing today. Now, I'm going on here first, and I can tell you that Donna will be following me on, I believe, her YouTube channel, and then she's going to put it on her Facebook page, and this will be uploaded to my YouTube channel. What we thought would be a great idea was to give you a sneak peek of one of our classes and how it works. So what I'm doing, going to do tonight is I'm going to show you a sneak peek of a tutorial that you would get if you bought one of our online classes. It's not going to be as long. It's not going to be as, um, as many cards because I'm only doing two cards. But what, what happens is I'm going to show two cards, and then Donna's going to show two cards. The special is that if you place an order from today to March 31st, okay, that's the end of celebration, you will get my two cards, the kit to make them, and the two that Donna's going to show. Now, if you're in the United States, you have to order through me, and once you place a $50 order or more, you will get a card kit from me to make four cards, the two I'm going to show you and the two Donna's going to show you. I hope that all makes sense. I know it's a lot. So, let's just see. Um... Yeah, you get the card kits for free. Um, just making sure I tell you everything. So what we're doing, and we're both going to be showing the same set. So we're using the Timeless Tulips and the Punch. Now, the, the kit is going to be geared towards that. So, of course, if you don't have that and you're watching me stamp, you now have the tutorial. Now you need the kit. In order to get the kit to finish the cards, you need to get that bundle. $32.50 in the United States, you add a little bit more to it, and you get a celebration item. Maybe you already have the uh, Timeless Tulips. Perfect. You don't. You can order any $50 order. The minute you do it online, words, online, $50 order, I will automatically send you the kits for making these four cards. Again, I will be showing you two, and then Donna will be showing you two later. Okay? 
So I hope that makes sense. Uh, my suggestion, of course, is to buy the Timeless Tulip Bundle because that's what the, the kit and class is geared towards. But if you already have that, you can place any $50 online order. And of course, it's before shipping and tax. I just wanted, I wrote it down. I wrote everything down this time so I didn't forget. I usually just like to wing it. <laughs> That's me. So again, I'll have all the information on the description later on. Okay, I see everybody joining us. Hi, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Again, stay well, take care of yourself, stay healthy, and take care of your family. Okay, that's it. Let's get some stamping done. Let me flip the camera. Okay, so I also just figured out. Okay, well, I'll tell you that in a minute. My husband was just down here because my internet's been in and out, in and out. Um, here's my monthly host code. This is for the online ordering. Remember, it's automatic. You do a $50 online order, and you'll get these card kits. Just give me a couple of days to get it in the mail, okay? Okay, so let's move this out. So here's the funny thing. I didn't realize that I could zoom in sitting here. I'm always afraid to touch anything because I don't want anything to move. Hi, Angie. Okay, so like I said, we're using the Timeless Tulips. Here we go. Now, I do have the cards, but I'm not going to show you, okay? I'm going to surprise you. You will get, because I want to show you what it would look like. So you order, you place an order in the mail, uh, in, online. You're going to get the video, which is this video. And then you're going to get the card kit in the mail. So let's start. This would be the first card. And I still see a delay here. I hope everything is good on your end. I think everything is just so whacked out lately. Let me just grab this. Okay. All right. So for this card, what I'm using, and I'll have all the uh, measurements and everything in the description later on. <clears throat> you would get a, a card kit, and it would have... Um, all your pieces that you need individually wrapped, let's say. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my terracotta tile and I'm going to score that. And this is what you would be doing when you get the kit. I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. Hi, Kathy. Hey, Donna. <laughs> Donna's on. Okay, and I just hopefully you heard everything, Donna. I got, uh, I think I remembered everything. If I forgot something, Donna, just say it in your video. Okay, so again, this is a sneak peek free class, online class. And with your $50 order, you will get the card kit in the mail. All right, so we're going to start with a half a sheet of cardstock folded in half. Now I'm going to layer that with a piece of old olive. The old olive is four by five and a quarter. These are usual measurements that I use all the time. And then the DSP, Designer Series Paper, is three and three quarters by five. Now, this is the new Ornate Garden, which is available April 1st. Your Designer Series Paper in the kit may vary. Yes, if you want to order through, and if you're in Australia, you want to order it through Donna. And that's donnagray.stampinup.net for Donna, okay? And, of course, mine just remember Stampers Delight. Okay, so these are your pieces here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to layer this. Whoop, grabbed the wrong one. I just refilled one, so let's find it here. And I'm just going to snail this down. You can use combo, whichever one you want. And we're going to just layer that right on there. Okay? Then this piece is going to go right on top. Nothing too hard. Now remember, with the regular monthly kits, you'd be doing six cards. So if you bought both videos or both level, uh, both classes, you would do six cards of mine, three designs, two of each, and you would do six that Donna set up. So you're doing 12 if you get that, um, both online classes. So there we go. Very nice. I love the colors in here. The next piece I want to bring in is, and I'm going to show you these, because this is something you could add to your order to make it the $50 if you got the Timeless Tulips. If you already have the Timeless Tulips, of course, just place any $50 order. These are the uh, stitched nested dies, 
and I'm using the two largest ones. I really wish they had numbers on them. I may number my own. I've seen some people that do that. So I have two of these, and those two large ones are what I'm going to use. One piece is with our old olive vellum paper that's in the annual catalog, and the next size is with Whisper White. And those are going to layer up real nice. So those are with the, the nested dies. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Gloria. Leave me any questions. I will answer the questions later on. So for now, I'm just going to move this over, and I'm going to take some of my tulips, and I'm going to start playing. Now with the tulips, you can see you get two um, stems doesn't really matter which one you use for this card, but I'm kind of going to use both. Kind of going to. Okay, so let me bring in my inks. And for this one, I'm going to use Old Olive. The middle one, I'm going to use the curvy one. Okay, and I'm just going to stamp that right there. Of course, I stamped off my paper, which is fine. That's what I needed to do. And this one, notice I'm not using my mat. For the stem, I don't really have to, but you would want to. And I'm just angling it, okay, so that I get a little, uh, like, curve to this one. Now, I will tell you, the next step, using the, the um, tulips, you do want to use your pad. These are distinctive stamps and you really do need that cushion so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to layer that right on there and i'm going to bring in my tulips now i'm going to start with mango melody love this color that new color in here is called bumblebee i think it is and to me it, the mango goes really nice i'm going to bring in my larger tulip and i'm just going to ink that up I like to stamp off just one time just so I could see if I'm getting all the ink. The beautiful thing about these stamps are even if it doesn't all ink up, it looks like that's the way it's supposed to be. So I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to put my mango in there. And you see what I mean by distinctive? It already gives it different colors in there. I think we're done with this. I'm only going to use that once, so let's move that out of the way. Then I'm going to bring in my terracotta tile. I'm just going to clean this off real quick. Now, I already spritzed my stamp and scrub. You can use your um, chamois, too. That works wonders. And again, I'm going to ink this up. I just want to stamp off one time. Okay. And then I'm going to angle this because I'm not going to get the whole thing, and I don't want the whole thing. Just going to get half of it. Hi, Melanie. And we're going to go right here. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love these kind of stamps. And the nice thing is if you're a beginner stamper, they blend in perfect because they don't have to be perfect. Okay. Then I'm going to bring in, now it's got a couple of different leaves in this set. This one and this tulip and that leaf are the uh, punch, but I'm going to use the opposite, different leaf here. Does anybody else ever have problems figuring out what the top of the leaf is and what the bottom is? I do, but I don't really care because it looks nice no matter what. Go ahead, and I'm going to add some... I'm going to put one leaf, right? Maybe two. Just to add a little bit back there. There we go. So now it looks like a little bouquet. Right? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and layer that. Oof, nope, first I'm going to stamp on this. I'm going to use a little hello. Oh, no work, huh? Yeah, it's, it's not a good time right now, but us stampers will stick together. I'm going to place that right up there, and hopefully I left enough room, and I did. 
You could bring it down a little bit further if you wanted to. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to layer this right on top of my vellum. See a little piece of white. Now, the nice thing about this vellum, can you see it? That side is darker than this side. So you can use whichever side you want. I'm going to use this side. And, of course, I did use the stitched nestled thighs. I'm going to use my snail. I'm going to go ahead, put this right on here. And then I'm going to flip it over. And I'm just going to layer some of these with dimensionals. I just, I, I'm so amazed that I, I can see this better now. I didn't, I have no idea I could zoom that in. While it was on my mount, that was the problem. I knew I could zoom it, but I didn't think I could do it when, while it was in the stand. Now that I know that, I'm just so happy. We're going to put that right in there, pop that right up there. Then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave this for a minute. I'm going to bring in the inside. I don't want to give everything away at once. Okay, so the inside piece is my normal four by five and a quarter. Okay, fits right in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab that green again and the stem. And I'm just going to put that right. I love it on the side like that. Just love it. Let me go ahead with the terracotta tile. But this time I'm going to switch and I'm going to use the smaller tulip. Place that one right there. And then I'm going to grab the leaf again, which is over here. I only want a little bit of the leaf there. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to grab the Easter saying that's in that set, the terracotta tile. Just make sure that I put it on straight. There we go. There's the inside of my card. Okay, so let's bring this back in. Close up my inks. Gonna grab my Wink Estella, of course. So again, this is this is what you would get. A tutorial like this, along with the card kit, with our monthly class. Whoop. That one's starting to Made that one run a little bit. Okay, there we go. This is going to go right inside. Now, remember what I said, you know, ordering online between now and the 31st gets you the card kits. And if you don't have the tulips, and for some reason you don't want the tulips, you will still get the card kit, and you can use any of your other stamps. Okay, then I'm going to bring in the two colors from the two ribbons from the uh, ornate garden, and I am going to make a little bow here, and then try to do it the way my friend Donna tells me to do it, which thank you Donna because that does work. And she says, you wrap it around. And whoop, I'm trying to keep the two ribbons together. I do this a lot. I like making double ribbons. And then pull these while pulling the tail. And then just tighten it. There we go. And snip it off. Yes, you can. Uh, Donna's saying you can. You can. Uh, if you don't want th this set, you can order any set. Place an order um, for the United States. It's twenty. It's fifty dollars. Okay, and you'd still get the card kit. Okay, I'm just trimming them off a little bit. I may trim it again because that one's a little bit longer. So let's just trim it again. I like to use a generous piece of ribbon, and I'm going to put that right there. 
And for that, I'm going to use glue dots or you can use tear tape. I have my tear tape right here, so I'm just going to use a little piece of tear tape. And take that off. Put that right here. Glue dots will also work. And go ahead and just straighten that up. And then once I have it on the card, I'm just going to pull it apart so you can see the double bow. And the double ribbon. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in some of these new gilded gems. And I want the small ones. I, uh, there's three sizes, but I just want the small ones for this card. I'll put that there. And then I'll put one right here. And there's the first card that you would get with the kit. So you would get everything. In Australia, it's $90. Okay. You, this would be your first card that you would get to make. I absolutely love this. And I love the way the new Ornate Gardens goes so well with the tulips just by using the same colors. Okay, so that's the first card. Then you would go to the next card. Now, remember, these are only two of the cards you'll get in the kit because Donna's going to do the other two. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and bring in... <clears throat> my half a sheet of cardstock. Now, when I use white for the base, I use the thick white. I'm gonna go ahead and score that four and a quarter. Get a nice crisp edge. And then I'm gonna fold it over. Now this is a Z fold. The Z folds I usually do are long ways. Okay, but this one is going to be this way. Now, I'm just going to roll that back. You could also score that if you wanted to. I'm just going to roll it back. You've seen me use this as a quick, easy fold before. Okay, so there's that one. Then what you have is two pieces of mint macaroon. And these two pieces right here are, I believe they're, let's see, I wrote everything down so I'd remember, and of course I don't see it here. Mm, yes, two pieces, one by three and a quarter, so it's three and a quarter, and it's by, what is that, five? Our normal size. I'll put that size down. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do with this, and just bear with me a moment, I'm going to bring in my Big Shot, because I'm going to be using the new embossing folder, from the ornate garden which you know I don't usually like to do that but because it makes the table shake but I'm going to show you anyway I'm going to do it all right so I'm going to angle this and here's the embossing folder gorgeous okay so these two pieces fit right on the you can put it, do it all at one time because it really is a quarter sheet of cardstock. Okay. And we're just going to run that through the big shot. Now, this is a new embossing folder, so I do need my blue cutting pad or embossing pad, I should say. I'm just going to roll that through. You see, I got my green on today. I got some light green nails. Just. Pull that out and move that out of the way. And bring it back in. And we have these two great pieces. Okay, so we got those two pieces. Now you're also going to have a long strip here. And the strip is one and a half by eight and a half. Remember, I'll put all the, the um, dimensions down, but in the kit, everything's going to be pre kit recut for you. Then we have these two pieces, which again is mint macaroon and the new vellum paper for the celebration, round two. And that's the seafoam green. And with those, I'm using the rectangle stitched framelits. Again, the two largest ones. The largest one was for here. The next largest one was for that one. 
Thank you, Kathy. Yes, definitely share my videos. Hey, Win Ann. Win Ann just reminded me that I do have a uh, sampler class this Saturday, Sunday. And then my stamp a stack next Sunday. If you're signed up for those classes, please stay tuned. Watch my emails. We'll see what happens. Okay, so now we have all our pieces here. And what piece did I forget? And I did forget one piece. I forgot my little piece of white. Oh, here it is. Okay. And then the next size, I forgot to show you that one. So the two larger ones are for that. And then the third size down, let's just grab that one, which should be this one, is for my white. Whoop, not that one. Here's my other one. There it is. Okay, so it's the three sizes. Again, I just wish they were numbered. Maybe I'll number them myself. But you can see when you get them, that's how they nestle up. Or that's how they go together. And those are the three that I used. Now, again, in the kit, they're all going to be done for you. Okay. Okay, so... Let's get started with some stamping, and then I'll put it all together. I'm going to start with the white. <clears throat> I'm going to bring in my mint macaroon. I'm going to clean off my stem. Okay. And I'm going to ink this up. And I'm going to do three stems. And you can do them all the same, or you can make one higher, one lower, whichever way you want to do it. I got mine all going the same way. I'm going to go ahead and bring in the leaf that I used before. And I'm just going to add some leaves. You can see I'm not using my pad, but... I will when I get to the other. Okay. So I'm just adding some leaves on there. Put that over here for you. Okay. <clears throat> so I already have cut these out, but I'm going to show you a couple ways you can do these. So I used um, Highland Heather, uh, Rococo Rose, and Daffodil Delight. So there's my tulips. I've already punched those out. Let me show you how you can punch those out. I just didn't want to take up the time to do all of those at one time. So let me grab my punch, move this out of the way, and just grab a piece of white cardstock so I can show you. Okay, so there's a couple things you can do. which is the way I usually do it. Okay, I usually make myself a little template like this. And then I just ink up my flower. And you do want to use your mat for this. Okay. Ink up the flower. And put it right in there. Ink up the leave, make sure you got it going the right way, and grab my green, try to, try to keep it, you can use um, some post-it notes too to keep that down, oh, I just put that in the wrong color, I want the green, I would have had a purple leave, maybe, hey, maybe it would look cute, okay. So I make myself a template if I'm going to be using it that way. And then when you put it in there, it pops out. Perfect. See that? Two different colors, right? Okay. The other way you can do that is by using your Stamparatus. So let me grab in another piece. that right here put that there okay so now the 
if I was going to use the Stamparatus, clean these off. I could do it the same way. I could lay that there, lay that there, put this right here, put this right here. Go ahead and press it down. Ink it up. Well, let's just do it, okay? I'm just gonna ink this up in the purple. Ink this up in the green. Hopefully I got it all, it looks like I did. I'm gonna go ahead and press that down. Now, I didn't get all the purple like I wanted, so I'm going to go back in. This is the nice thing about the Stamparatus. You can go back in and just ink that part up. Hold it down for a couple of seconds, and I got it. Voila. Pull that out. Move that over. And then, of course, now, remember, you got your punch... I like to give myself a lot of room. It's not going to fit all the way in there. So you would just trim off what you don't need. I usually don't use that much paper. <laughs> I usually use a smaller piece, but, and then just pop it out. The nice thing about using the Stamparatus is that you could just, once you have the one down, you could just go across and make a whole bunch of them. Okay. But I did want to show you how I did those. Okay. So now I'm going to take my Rococo Rose. I'm going to take my Daffodil Delight. And I'll take my Highland Heather. And I'm just going to do this. Now I'm going to bring in some dimensionals. I'm going to put two on each. i just like to show you the both ways to do it, because some people have the Stamparatus and some people don't. If you don't have the Stamparatus, no worries. You saw how easy it was to stamp and punch these. Remember, if you already have the Timeless Tulips, you can place any $50 order and get the card kit. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. Now it's hanging off, and that's exactly where I want it. It's fine. Go ahead layer that one right on there just put that one right there okay I'm gonna bring these back in and of course this is gonna get layered right onto this piece and the nice thing is you know how you can see through the vellum but you don't really have to worry about it this time because the white is gonna be right over that. So we're just going to go ahead and put that in there. And then this one goes right there. Okay. So let's just snail that down. And that's the start of it. Okay. Let's bring the card base back in. If I can figure out where I threw that. Where did I put that? Oh, there it is over on that side. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to lay these two pieces down, one here and one here. Now, if you like to have some white showing, see how I have the white showing, then you can just trim it. I'm going to go ahead and snail that one down. And before I put this one on, I'm going to stamp over here the saying. And this one I'm going to use the Mother's Day. And I love this inside saying, what a difference, what, what a beautiful difference a single life makes. I mean, what a gorgeous saying. Mother's Day can be, this could be for your mother, your mother-in-law, your sister, your friend. Put that right there. And then I'm going to take this piece. Now this piece is going to go across here to make that Z-fold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this, my scoring 
And remember, I said this was one and a half by eight and a half. And you're going to score this. Make sure the scoring blade's up there. You're going to score this at four and a quarter. Okay. And six and a half. I will tell you that sometimes you have to tweak it a little bit. Six and a half. To make it fit. It's just the way it is. Okay. So we're going to bend that. This is going to go just like that. Just like the Z-fold card that goes the length long ways. Okay. See how that goes? Okay. I like to start it over here because if I need to trim it, I don't mind trimming it off that side. You're just going to put a little tear tape on the small part of it. Remember, you got, well, let me take this one off first. It should be enough. Tear tape I like to use because it's very strong. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and lay that down right, let's say right here. And then you see how that folds over a little bit, but you need that little bit of extra give whoop, so it can open. All right, so then let me put some tear tape on this side. Oh, yeah, Maureen, I don't have a class today, so I'm on. Only Sundays that I have classes, and we're not sure about the next one, so thank you for tuning in. All right, so... So don't forget, if you want to sign, uh, sign up, get the new starter kit. Time is running out. I like to fold it up this way. Keep forgetting to, I've zoomed in, so I want to make sure you can see me. Lay that down. And then I give this a really good crisp burnishing. And there we have the start of that. So it's a Z-fold card. But I've never done one this, this way before. This other piece is going to go right over here so you don't see that inside piece. Okay. You don't have to cover it up, but I just thought it would look nice, and I love this embossing folder. So, <laughs> so there's your Z-fold card that way. Now we're going to bring in my tulips. That's going to go right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it this way and I'm going to put some tear tape only down one side. Okay, now I have to get used to the camera again where I'm placing everything since I got it zoomed in. But let me know what you think. Can you see me better? Can you see the projects better by zooming it in? Okay. I'm going to lay that down. And I am just going to lay this across just like that. And there's my fold. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a strip. Now, you know me and my strips of paper. These are all the pieces that I save. Whoop, let me grab it. From when I trim my cardstock. Perfect, perfect for some of our sentiments. So I'm going to go ahead and put Happy Mother's Day here. I kind of don't want to do it right in the middle, but I want to give it enough room so I know where I'm putting it. Okay, so I think that's good. I'm just going to trim it. There we go. And then I'm going to take some more dimensionals. And we're just going to put two on here until I see where that overhang is. right across here there we go and I can put see I, that's why I didn't put another one on there but now I see where it, where it's landing so now I can put another one there I don't want to put it on this part though I just want to be able to make sure it opens okay now I'm gonna bring in 
uh, a piece of cardstock, any piece you have left over. This is a piece I had left over, so we'll use that. I'm going to go ahead and take the mint macaroon. I'm going to stamp that. I'm going to do a little fussy cutting here, only because we don't have a die for that. But this is pretty easy to do a fussy cut, even if you don't like to fussy cut. I like to cut. We're just going to cut that right off here. Trim that. Thank you, Marlene. I will upload this to YouTube. And again, after I'm done, Donna's going to jump on. You will find her on YouTube. You will also find her um, on the Facebook page. And I think we're going to share each other's videos on our business page since we're doing this together. Okay, so this is going to go right here. So I am going to bring in my silicone mat. This is a real old one. And I'm just going to put some snail here because that's what I have available in front of me. Get that out of the way. I'm just going to put this right here. Okay. And then figure out which one I, I think I'll use the purple. I think I'll use the Rococo Rose. I'm going to go ahead and grab some more dimensionals. Whoop, got two that time, but that's all right. I'm going to put my Rococo Rose one right here. And then those flower, those leaves that I punched out with the with the um, matching punch, I'm going to use those this time. And I am just going to, I think I like it. I think it should go that way, right? I'm not a real flower person, so you can tell I don't have a garden. And then we'll just put this one. I don't think it really matters, but I'm going to just lay them that way. You can put them any way you want when you get the card kit. So I'm just going to put one here. I think one will do it. So, Beverly, if you're watching, you did order today, and you didn't even know about this special. So you're going to get a card kit in the mail. Because she ordered more than... She ordered a place to $50 order, regardless of whether you order the Timeless Tulips. You would want the Timeless Tulips if you don't have it, so you can finish the card kit. There we have that. Now I'm going to bring in my Wink Estella, because I just love my Wink Estella on my cards. So I'm adding a little shimmer to it. I will be uploading this to YouTube. I will be putting the both card dimensions on there. It just might take me a little bit. It'll be done by today or first thing in the morning. Okay, so I'm adding some Wink Estella down here. A little up here. A little more right here. I like a lot of shimmer. And I could have done that before I put it together, but you could do it afterwards, too. Okay. What do you think of that one? And to finish it off, I'm going to bring in some pearls. We haven't used the pearls in a while. And I've already colored some of them. So what I did was I used Rococo Rose, Highland Heather, and Daffodil uh, Delight, all the darker colors. Not the light ones, because they don't show up as well. Let me add a little bit more here. So these are our blends. And as you can see, you can color them. Let me add that. And you can put one coat on, let it dry in a second. And then put the next coat on. Oh, thank you, Maureen. And then I'm just going to add some of these... Let me bring it back in here where you can see it. I'm just going to add some of the colored pearls. Put one here. Put one. 
I like to put it when I close it like that so you can kind of see it. There we go. <clears throat> so here you go. That's the second card. Let me bring in the first card again. So this is a sample of what you would get when you order our monthly card classes or online classes. Remember, you will get six cards with each class when there's two classes a month, so you would end up with 12 if you bought both classes. This is just a sneak peek that we wanted to give you free, and then when you order between now and the 31st, you will get the kits for these two cards and the kit from me if you're in the U.S. that Donna's going to show you shortly. Let me just take flip the camera back. So I hope you really enjoyed it. I enjoyed uh, doing this for you. And even if you don't order, you got a free class on how we do our classes with some cool cards. And stay tuned for Donna's, the second half. Um, again, place any order, stampersdelight.com. Online orders, $50 or more. You do want the Timeless Tulips, but if you already have it, just place any $50 order, get a free celebration item, and you'll get four cards in the mail to make. The kits will all be made for you. So I hope you enjoyed that. The last thing I want to do is I pulled some names. I didn't know how much time we'd have, so I pulled the names earlier. I hope nobody matters. Matters. hope nobody minds. Um, from Friday morning's video, remember I did the Ornate Garden. And I have three cards here that I'm going to be giving to three people that shared my video. I don't know which one you're going to get, okay? I'm just going to put it in the envelope and put the names on it. And the winners were Tina Scarfenberg, uh, Elizabeth Merkel, and Linda O'Connor. So if you're listening, send me your address. Okay, so that I can send you out this card. You have one week to contact me. If you know these three ladies, please tell them to contact me. Tina, um, I think I have your address. And I will be sending you out these cards to use. Okay. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will join us for our online classes. Stay tuned for Donna. Donna will be on at 11 a.m. Now that's her time. Okay, so I think, uh, let me see if I can get her to answer. Donna, what time is it where you are right now? Let's see if she answers. So she'll be on at 11 a.m. That's for anybody that's in Australia, okay? But if you're in the United States, you have to kind of figure out the time. So if Donna's going to be, I think she said right after me. So it is almost 8 o'clock here, Eastern Standard Time. All right. She's going to be on in 15 minutes. Thank you, Donna. Okay, so she's going to be on in 15 minutes. Go to Stamping with Donna Gray. Um, on her Facebook page, or her YouTube page, rather. Stamping with Donna G. Okay, and then she's going to upload it, I think, to, to um, Facebook. But you will get to see it. If you go to you, her YouTube channel, if you're not subscribed to it, subscribe to her YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and we're going to um, entwine them, okay? So again, she's going to be on shortly. I think she said YouTube, and she's going to share it to Facebook, so you'll be able to see her. And I'll be watching with you, so happy stamping, everybody. Have a great Sunday evening. Have a great week, and again, stay healthy, stay safe and care for you, yourself and your loved ones, okay? Bye.